So I made this climate model, an extremely basic climate model. Normally we think of climate change kind of like this. Add a bit of CO2, get a bit of heat. And that's true until a certain point when a slight nudge can lead to drastic changes. This is the idea of a tipping point. Some of Earth's systems are teetering on the edge of major changes because of a heating planet. And if we nudge them past a certain point, they could change dramatically, regardless of what we do afterwards. One of Earth's critical systems is this, permafrost. It's Arctic soil that's frozen year-round, keeping its carbon locked away. Today, the world's permafrost stores nearly twice as much carbon than the atmosphere. As we warm the climate, we're thawing permafrost, and that ancient stored carbon gets released back into the atmosphere. So you have this cycle. Permafrost thaws, carbon gets released, planet gets hotter, and more permafrost thaws. So if we push permafrost to its tipping point, that cycle would become unstoppable. Earth has many climate systems at risk of these domino effects, on land, in the ocean, and in the ice. The boreal forests in the far north store more than a third of the world's terrestrial carbon. But if they're pushed enough through worsening fires and rising temperatures, they could transform into grasslands and can release a lot of that carbon back into the air. On the poles, melting ice sheets are making the Earth's surface darker. That darker surface absorbs more of the sun's rays, which warms the ice up faster. This cycle could make the meltdown unstoppable. In the Atlantic, a massive underwater current pumps warm water around the Western Hemisphere and carries the energy equivalent of a million nuclear power plants. This current is powered by changes in the ocean's temperature and saltiness. A warming and melting Arctic could cause that current to slow down or maybe even someday stop. So how close are we to some of these tipping points? Well, we've already warmed the planet by 1.2 degrees Celsius, but if we can keep warming below two degrees, we can avoid most of these tipping points. If we warm the climate beyond that, we do so at our own risk, and at the increasing risk of some of these systems tipping over. If we were to hit one of these closer tipping points, we could still influence how fast these changes happen. For the collapse of the Greenland ice sheet, a tipping point big enough to lock in 24 feet of sea level rise, we could lose all of Greenland's ice over the next thousand years if we kept on increasing fossil fuels. But if we cut emissions, we could hold on to that ice and hold off that sea level rise for more like 10 or 20,000 years. Tipping points change the way we think about climate risk. And the closer we get to the edge, the more dangerous our emissions become. So we made this video as part of a larger project. Three other writers interviewed leading climate scientists on seven of the world's tipping elements. If you're curious, you can read all about that in the description.